Just getting ready here for final assembly on my uh, linear rocker that I made for my uh, kicker core here. It's um, obviously I just used some scrap one by dimensional lumber here that I had and a little bit of plywood in the bottom here. I mean, it's it's all pieced together. I was just trying this to see how it was going to go and I'd buy plywood. If it, but, I, but it seemed to work pretty good just the way it is. So I'll save the money and not buy the plywood. But it's um, a 20 millimeter shaft here, solid steel shaft, uh, 55 inches long. I got all this stuff on Amazon, by the way, except for the wood. So um, I can leave uh, links in the description of the video here. But uh, it's a 20 millimeter shaft with four um, hangers here and then four linear bearings, four um, five inch dodge balls here, and then uh, some zip ties that bolt to uh, hold the um, trainer down. And just some bolts here for the decking. Them, uh, these are metric, so you can't just go to your local fleet farm and buy some quarter 20s. It ain't going to work. You can on the bottom, though, and that's what I did. I got inch and a quarter. I'd, I'd probably get inch and a half um, quarter 20 carriage bolts to go through the wood. Hold the, hold the rod in place. Um, two springs here. I just, uh, I, I couldn't find anything. I just figured uh, that spring is hitting right inside that bearing, pushing on the bearing seal. So I just made something out of plywood here, a little scrap piece of plywood just to keep the spring out of the seal. But um, five inch dodge balls. Originally I had planned to make this, uh, just two balls that, that rode in here. And they were a little too far inboard, I think. And also, I decided to go with four balls because uh, it doesn't seem to be as critical on the air pressure on them. I mean, if you only got two balls and they, <laughs> they uh, one's got a little more air in it the other, the, the whole thing's going to tip. But if they're a little bit off, they kind of average out a little bit, I guess, with four. Um... The decking, uh, this deck is 64 inches long. You could probably get away with 60. And it's 28 wide. I would I would have probably made it 30. Um, especially because I put this beveled edge on here. The, the, the pad of the um, kicker here might be right on the edge here. Um, right on the edge of the bevel anyway. But uh, I kind of like the way it turned out the, with the uh, the one buys, but I think plywood would be stronger. Three quarter inch plywood, oak plywood or sub flooring or whatever. But that's it. I mean, I had this thing all together and tried it and I added these braces here because I didn't have these in here. It kind of wanted to bend a little, a little bit and I think the plywood would help with that. But um it worked pretty good. I rode it about an hour, and then uh, I decided uh, instead of getting this wood all full of sweat and everything, I'd just put some finish on it before I... Um... So I took it all apart, and and I got a, now I got a reference of anyway what the parts are. But I'll, I'll try to leave um, links in the description of the video here, but here's what I have into it exactly. The only thing that's not on here is um, um, the plywood um, in between the spring and the bearing, the bushing or whatever. But that's what's into it. Um, like I said, I sourced it all on Amazon. I don't know. I, I Like my local do-it-yourself stores didn't have rod like this. I mean, obviously... I would say that 20 millimeter is as small as you want to go. I mean, I, I if you weigh over 200 pounds, I mean, with the, the kicker core is pretty heavy. I mean, if you're 200, you got 250 pounds, yeah, you know, you got 300 pounds or whatever rocking on this thing. Um, 
we'll see we'll see how it goes but i would uh i would not go any smaller than the 20 millimeter but all right any questions let me know uh, I'll, I'll try to post this and get them links up there